Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I am Anton Retro, and in this video, we're going to be looking at WebNest Emulator for iOS, which basically is a really good emulator that you can get for free without jailbreak. So anyway, let's take a look. So as you can see, the gameplay and emulation is very solid. I have to say this emulator does a very good job of making sure everything is on point with in terms of the buttons. There's never an input delay or anything like that. And honestly, the buttons are very, very, very good. They're, they're nice and big on your um, iOS device, so you'll never really miss a hit them or anything like that. The D-pad though can be kind of weird just because it's four separate buttons instead of say like a the power you kind of just slide your finger around. So when you're playing a game like Zelda, it's definitely not as preferable, but it still does work, I guess, so you could probably get around that. Uh, there is also no sound on this emulator, so that's another thing that you will have to take into consideration that you're not getting any sound, but honestly, I don't really, it's not a big deal for me, and yeah, I just, I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I have to say the emulator is really good, and you should definitely check it out. Just because, you know, everything works perfectly fine. There's never any glitches either, which is something I always see when it comes to emulators. You'll see, like, some graphical errors. Maybe some games do that. I have not checked every game in the NES library. That would take forever. So, yeah, you guys can definitely check this out. Um, also, on the list, there's no, like, pictures of the game. So, it's a little less organized. But I think I would take the emulation and speed over the actual look of the emulator itself. Anyway, I'm going to show you the simple installation, how to get this working on your device. The first thing you're going to go and do is go down to the description and I'll have a link where you're just going to click it. And of course, it will take you to the screen and you'll see there's a lot of homebrew games here. So you, you can play the emulator without actually having any ROMs. So it's kind of like a Tetris game and a couple other ones, but it's not really big of a deal. But you can get rid of them simply by just uh, holding down each of those kind of games there and then just deleting them, it'll say delete. But anyway, what you want to do is add to home screen and this will simply just ask you to name it whatever you want. Like I just put WebNest there and uh, yeah, just, just go ahead and press add to home screen and you should see it. And yeah, here you can move the icon around wherever you want. And yeah, you just see that those homebrew games are there if, if, you know, in case you deleted them in the web app version. So yeah, as you can see, it's there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go and go to Dropbox and you need a Dropbox account, but you can't sign in with Google. So you will need to create an email. And if you don't have one, um, you can just pick a fake one. That's what I recommend doing. It's so easy. Just put in whatever you want and uh, yeah, just put a password and then you have your own one. Since it doesn't ask for any kind of like verification or anything like that, it's pretty much really easy. Then of course you can just go in there and upload files to your, um, your Dropbox and here I have a whole bunch of saved in my device so you can just click it and it should just immediately just go into your Dropbox and then of course a choose button will also pop up in the bottom right corner and there as you can see it's popped up and the game should run perfectly fine. Anyway there are only a couple things about the emulator there that I'm not really fond of as well, such as the customization options, and you'll notice that there are not a lot of options here, in fact there's barely any, so yeah I would love to see some like skins and even cheats and stuff like that because the emulation is solid and uh, you know it would be cool to build off of that, but honestly I would honestly take speed and you know comfortability of playing the games rather than all these options because sometimes that can make you know the emulator not run as well. But anyway guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the emulator. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!